Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the highly requested full foundation routine. I know I don't include it in all of my videos and it's just a personal preference. I just think it is kind of overkill. It's just repetitive. What I'm gonna do is do an updated foundation routine every few months and if anything has changed, I will let you guys know. So I will do videos like this and then link them in all of my tutorials. That way if you're curious as to how I moisturize and prime and do my foundation, it's really not anything crazy. I will leave it linked in all of my tutorials so that you know how I got my base and I really am a creature of habit. I mix the same kind of few foundations. So that's why I wanted to talk a little bit about my favorite primers, moisturizers, and foundations. That way you know what is on rotation uh, with me. And it just depends on my mood that day if I want more of a dewy or if I want a long lasting. So I'll get into that here in a minute. But if you wanna know how I do my foundation routine, then please keep watching. All right guys, the first thing you wanna do is start with your moisturizer. I'm using this Embryo Lease moisturizer and I use about a dime size amount and I'm just gonna apply this to my face first. I already have my brows on but nothing else. I was having a pretty good skin day, so I thought perfect time to film this. <laughs> um, but I don't self tan my face, so that's why my face is lighter. So when you're done with that, we're gonna go in with a pore minimizing primer. This is my favorite from The Balm. It's called Time Bomb, and again, about a dime size amount. And just apply this to the areas where you really feel like you have pores, which would be my nose, around my nose, and a little bit on my temples, and then maybe my chin. So just apply that pretty heavily and make sure it's really smooth. And then we're gonna go in and mix two foundations. I'm mixing the L'Oreal Infallible and my Estee Lauder Double Wear. You can see I put it on the back of my hand. I usually don't end up using all of that, but I just like to get an even amount. And I'm using my Morphe E6 and I'm just going to buff this on the skin. First I do like kind of circular motions and buff it on. And then if I feel like I need more coverage, I kind of stipple it on in areas that I feel like need a little bit more coverage. So I just basically sweep it all over my face. I go from kind of the center of my face out and then I do put it on my eyelids because I really kind of pale skin and it just makes everything uniform. So just apply it all over your face as you usually would. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna go in with concealer. I thought I would just include this. You guys know I include this in all my tutorials anyways, but just the simple uh, concealing under the eyes. I'm mixing uh, Urban Decay and It Cosmetics today, but I have some rotations that I do, you guys know. So I'm spraying my beauty blender with the Ofra cosmetic spray and then I'm just gonna blend it out. Once we're done blending, we're gonna set our concealer and I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I'm just gonna set under my eyes pretty heavily because I want that to be bright. And then when we're done with that, we are going to go in and do our nose contour. You always wanna do your cream products or liquid products first, which is why I'm doing it in the sequence for this video. So definitely apply your cream, so it would be foundation, concealer, and then if you're doing a cream contour on your nose like I am, then do that. And then we're gonna go in with the powders and set the rest of our face. So just go ahead and do that. And then I take the prep and prime and go down my nose just to kind of tie it together and brighten up the middle. I just put a stripe down my nose and then I use the same foundation brush. But then we're gonna go on to set our face, which is the second part of this foundation routine. And I mix, uh, I rotate, I guess, between a bunch of different products. But today I'm using the MAC Fix Plus Powder. I'm using a Morphe Gun Metal Brush. I really like this brush, actually. Uh, I will link everything down below. So just basically kind of stipple it on and pat it on, and then we're gonna wipe away the powder that we had under our eyes, and essentially your whole face will be set then. And then we're gonna go in with contour. I didn't know whether I should, uh, I guess, include this, but I thought I would just because I do this every day. And I'm just using a, I think it's a Royal and Langnickel brush. I will link it down below. And I'm using the Tartus Contour Palette, which I absolutely love. And we're just going to contour um, the hollows of our cheeks. And then I'm gonna do a little bit bronzing on my forehead, I guess, with the like contour palette. So I guess it could be bronzing or contouring. And that's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And now I'm gonna go into talking about all my products. So if you're interested in hearing about products that I like, then please keep watching. So lately my go-to moisturizer has been this uh, moisturizer I got from Sephora. I hauled this from, I believe, the VIB sale. This is the Embryo Lease Moisturizer. It's just like a daytime moisturizer. You could use it at night too, but I really like it. It's not 
too heavy. I still feel it, like it moisturizes, but it really works well under makeup. And you can get it at Sephora. I believe this one was maybe $16, so I got the smaller size just to try it out first. But I've absolutely been loving it. I've been using it every day. I haven't messed with any other moisturizers lately. So this is the first step. Obviously, you want to moisturize your skin because you want to have everything smooth and any kind of dryness, you want to take that away. Just gives you a smooth canvas to go in with your primer and then your foundation. Primer-wise, there's two primers that I've been using uh, consistently for the past few months. One is my favorite, and then the next one is sort of similar, but I like it as well. So the first one that's my favorite, this is the Balm. You can see it's empty. This is literally like I'm squeezing the last bits out. I have another uh, new bottle, but this is called Time Bomb by The Balm Cosmetics. This is the best primer for pores in my opinion. It's so silicone-y, but it's almost moisturizing a little bit. It just smooths on really nice. It never balls up. It never comes off. I just really love this. As you can tell, I've used the entire thing, and I will be repurchasing more. I have one as a backup, and I'm absolutely in love with this. So this is a staple. I use a little bit more, almost like maybe a little bit like a dime size amount, a little bit bigger than that, because I feel like you really want to get that thick coverage kind of right here in the pore area, anywhere that you have pores, which for me is around my nose, on my nose, and maybe like a little bit over here. And then my second favorite would be the Pores No More by Dr. Brandt. I tried this sample and then I bought two more. If you watch my snaps, I hauled it and I like this too. It's not as I don't know this one is my favorite if I had to choose I would definitely go for the bomb But this is a great alternative great all around to help your pores again I would use a little bit more than you think you need and really just kind of smooth that over your pores That way it just makes everything a smooth canvas before you go in with foundation foundations I have three that I want to talk about one is a staple that I always use I always use it and this is the Estee Lauder Complete Coverage Double Wear. As you can see, I go through these. I have two bottles right now that are like this. I need to purchase another bottle. This is my favorite foundation of life. It is super high coverage, so I don't really like to use it alone. I mix it with other foundations. This is like my coverage. So if I want to use a foundation that doesn't have a lot of coverage, I mix this in. So usually I'll do half and half or maybe like a quarter of this and then three quarters the other, just depending on the foundation. But I'm going to tell you my two foundation routines depending on what I'm looking for that I've been going to lately. So the first routine would be if I'm going somewhere and I need my makeup to last all day, if I want a matte finish, or if I just really want something that's going to stay put and not budge. I have been mixing the L'Oreal Infallible with my Estee Lauder. So I would have thought this would have been too strong and too heavy. When I use this alone, it accentuates my pores. It's dry, it's cakey. I don't love this alone. But when I mix it with the Estee Lauder, even though it's full coverage, it's really kind of creamy and it's not like a really super matte. I mean, it's matte, but it's not like, it's not drying like this. So when I mix them evenly, I get like this beautiful cocktail. I get the coverage and the smoothness of the Estee Lauder and I get the long wear of the L'Oreal. So if I want a dewy finish and I'm just not worried about it lasting all night, not to say that it won't last, but it's just not going to be as long lasting as the L'Oreal, I will mix my double wear with the Armani Luminous Silk. I want like a really dewy, pretty kind of glowy look, then I will definitely go for this. It's just not as long lasting. I notice I have to keep touching up more throughout the night. Um, so a lot of times I film my tutorials before work. And so I am at work for 10 hours. So I need something that's going to hold up. And this does not hold up as well, just because neither of these are really matte long wears, whereas the L'Oreal would. So I do this when I feel like I wanna do something dewy, fresh, and glowy, or I need something that's like only gonna be good for five or six hours, and then I do the L'Oreal if I want something that's matte. So these are the three that I rotate. There's nothing else that I rotate right now. And like I said, if I update anything, I can do a new foundation routine, but I just wanna make it really simple for you guys that these are my Holy Grail foundations. So there's two brushes that I wanted to mention since we're talking about foundation. The one I used today was the Morphe E6. I mentioned this in my favorite brushes video. It's just a really nice stippling brush. It flares out. It's not too dense where it's moving your foundation, but it's really packing it on. So absolutely love this. This is my top pick. And then I got a new brush from Juvia's Place, and this is the J103 Flat Buffer. Very similar, a little bit bigger than the E6, but again, very similar. They're both just really nice, kind of flared out kabuki flat tops, and these have been my go-to. I feel like these minimize my pores as well and who doesn't want that? So these are my top two picks for brushes when I'm doing my foundation. So to set your foundation, you always wanna set your foundation, it's just gonna last longer and it's just gonna make the creams or the liquid set so they're not moving around all day. 
So you can use a translucent kind of loose powder. So for these, I like to use the Laura Mercier translucent or the Invisible HD face powder from Natasha Denona. These are my two picks. I love these. You can use them to bake under your eyes or anywhere, but these are my two that I would say are loose. And then for pressed powders, which could be like foundations, I like to use the IT Cosmetics, and this is the Celebration Foundation and Illumination. I, that's a mouthful. <laughs> I like the light and I like the medium. Or the good old MAC Studio Fix powder, and this is MW25. So either way, you can use any kind of powder that you want, but you definitely want to go in with your creams or liquids first and then set with the powder. All right, guys, so that is my full foundation routine. If you have any questions, comment below, and I will answer them. I love you guys. I have so many videos coming your way. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.